Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I have a flip through video. I'm going to go through a mini art journal that I created. And if you follow my videos, you know that I like to create my layouts in all kinds of sizes. So you may find videos where I'm working on a book, where I create one page or a two page spread. And here is the page that I shared yesterday on my YouTube channel. I may work on a loose paper, on a tag journal, and it can be a canvas or a wooden panel, all kinds of different sizes. However, I know that if you are a beginner in mixed media, this may sound quite intimidating to fill up such a big uh, <laughs> real estate. So a great idea for you to start is to work on a mini art journal. This is just four by four. Lots of pages, they are all thick watercolor paper. So they take any type of medium grade. And here is one mini journal that I have finished. You can see how big it is. And I absolutely love when my art journals get like this. They look as if they have been loved. And it means that lots of happy, creative time is included here. I will flip through the whole book today for you. And at the end, I'm going to show you how easy it was to create each and every page. I have been working on this for a couple of weeks now and I created one or two pages every day. On the back of the front flap, I used Born to Create as my quote and just a few hearts, nice and simple. For the first page, it's an underwater scene. You can see that fish that is holding a drink and I went with You can't make everyone happy, you are not tequila. And of course, you can't have an art journal without a butterfly page. Here is my colorful butterfly, a few borders here and there. And I went with you don't have to be perfect. One of my favorite themes to create a page with is the sea. So here I went with live free and let be. I used those waves, the boat and a cute little fish. Now, this is a really fun one. It started from the quote that says, think outside the box. And that's why I put my lady inside the box. Here is a mermaid page and it says we are all making it up as we go along. Some of the pages start with a focal point and try to find a quote that matches or the other way around. Here I went with only you can decide where you are heading with the light showing the way. When I see light bulbs, they always represent for me creativity and ideas, and so here I went with flick your light back on. Now here is a flower page, lovely colors, mainly pastel colors with stars, and I went with Fantabulous. The right page is all about magic, and I went with uh, this is where magic happens, with the bunny ears coming out of the hat. Here is a super fun, colorful ice cream page and I went with Don't Take Life So Seriously. The next page is a girl holding an earth and I went with Shake the World in a Gentle Way. Now here is another page where I did something I don't normally do. My background is very, very busy. That's why I kept all the focal points black and white. I went with a quote that says color outside the lines and I think it is perfect for black and white flowers ready to be colored. For this page I went with don't hide in the shadows, turn your face towards the sun and I have my mountains as well as a flower, a yellow flower that is working there as a sun. This is my dream big page where I have that house flying away with a hot air balloon. And here is a stack of rainbows, really colorful, so much fun. And this is where I used be a rainbow in someone's cloud. For this page, I went with a little scene. I have my lady in her car, driving away. And I went with new possibilities are waiting. And here is another underwater scene. I went with I catch dreams and dreams catch me. And I absolutely love the fish with a hot air balloon. For the next page, I used this lovely big focal point, a lovely beautiful bird. I went with Find Your Song and Sing It. Then I have this gorgeous lady. I absolutely love her pink hair. And I went with my inner voice says, I'm extraordinary, because why not? The next page is all about creativity. I went with Paint is only wasted if it stays in the tube. And I have that lovely lady holding a huge brass. And I love that she has wings as well. 
Here is my happy dog on his bike and so the adventure begins. Many more pages to share. I hope you aren't bored yet. So here is a flower page. I use those tulips. With patience, things get better. Here is a little scene with three fun houses. I love how they are colored. Stars and a moon on the sky. And I went with In the Dark, Search for the Stars. Another underwater scene. And here I used a seahorse. And my quote here is Embrace the gloriousness that you are. On the next page I have a big flower as my focal point along with leaves and I simply went with art heels. Here I used this gorgeous lady, love the size of it, and I went with dream without fear, love without limits. Then a really colorful scene with my lovely colored focal point and I went with all she ever wanted was happiness. Oh, and here we have the flamingo page. Absolutely love the flamingo. It is nice and big and really makes a statement. And I went with stay strong. Here I have a vase and a little fairy inside. Love the colors and I went with dance with the fairies and talk to the moon. And finally to the last page, here I used this really funny uh, owl. Absolutely love the color and the design. And I went with being unique is far better than being perfect. And for the last page I went with and so the story ends. So I like how I start and how I finish my little art journal. Now this was so much fun to put together and I promise you it's super simple. I'm going to show you how I made it. For every one of the pages you don't have to work more than 5 or 10 minutes max. So I'm going to show you how I made it. And maybe I will inspire you to create something similar with things that you have on hand. And I'm just counting the pages here. Turns out there are 30 altogether. So what do you need? I just used ready-made focal points. So here I used the Art by Marlene latest booklets where you just pop out the focal points and use them as they are. I also used images from the older booklets by Art by Marlene. I had still some leftover images here that I wanted to go through and use them up. This is a great project to use things that you already have. Then I went with uh, stickers. These are quotes in a sticker form. I have uh, a few from previous releases and it was a great way to go through some of them and use them up. Another way to go with quotes is to just write them down with your handwriting or even you can print them out and stick them down. Then you are going to need pattern paper. Now all the backgrounds that I have here aren't made from me. They are just cutouts from pattern paper. I did use the pattern paper from the same collection by Art by Marlene, but uh, just be creative and use any pattern paper that you probably are hoarding on your craft room. Now, I also used a couple of stamps that have text. Just grab one from your stash and use it again and again for all the backgrounds using your inks. I did went with different colors of archival ink here. You will also need a black and a white pen so that you can do some doodling if needed. And of course you will need your glue and your scissors. Keep all these products in a basket and every time you have 5 or 10 minutes to spare for creating something, just create one page, nothing more. If you are a beginner in mixed media, then I'm sure this is a great exercise for you. The moment you create one page, more and more ideas will come for the next pages. So I'm going to share in this video how I made a few of those pages and hopefully I can get you started. Now the pages are 4x4. Four four. So I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer and I'm going to cut out pattern paper pieces that are 35 by 35 I'm just going to use pattern paper front and back and just go ahead and cut out as many pieces as your pages. Make sure that not all the pieces are from the same pattern paper so that they are not identical. So for example here I'm going to use front and back pieces. And you can repeat a couple of designs throughout your pages of course. Just make sure that you don't stick them next to each other. I'm going to show you what I mean in a bit. So here you can see I have a bunch of papers ready cut out. Again, remember, my main page is 4x4, four four, but it has those um, uh, holes for the spiral. So the pattern paper that I'm using is 35 by 35 This way I have a lovely border, makes the page look nice and neat. And I'm going to stick all those pattern papers throughout the booklet. 
All I'm doing now is paying attention to not stick two identical patterns next to each other. This is going to ensure that the pages look more interesting. Now you have a little booklet ready with the background, so every day you can just sit down and create a little page. For that you are going to grab images and focal points from the booklets and combine them with the quotes. Before sticking everything down, all I did was add some stamping on the background, mainly using an ink that matches the colors of the background. You can also go ahead and do some stenciling if you like, or even add splashes and all kinds of uh, background techniques. I just wanted to keep that simple so that I can uh, just work on a page for just a few minutes. Find the quote that matches your focal point and you are good to go. You can always add some highlights with your uh, uh, gel pen if you want to, or keep it simple. You can also, also doodle all around the edges. The sky is the limit here, depending on how much time you want to spend on each of those mini pages. A few tips that I can give you on how you can put together all these pages is to make sure that you use focal points that are a contrasting color of the background. So if you have uh, something that you love to work with and it is for example a red flower, don't put it in a red background. Just browse through the pages and find something that looks contrasting, that it helps the focal point to pop out. I'm not working in a row, I'm just browsing through the pages, depending on the focal point that I have. So I was actually working on these pages in a completely random order, just depending on the color of the page of the background that I wanted to use. Also, if you go back and see the flip through one more time, you will notice that I like to stick elements that go outside of the background, where you can see things sticking out on the white frame. I like this look because I think it makes the page look more interesting, having elements popping out of the page. So you can see here that in one crafting session I managed to put together three pages, but all those three pages are really quick and simple. But the truth is that no matter how small or difficult your uh, layout is, you will still have that feeling of accomplishment at the end. And in a couple of weeks you will have a lovely little mini art journal to flip through and it is going to make you so happy. Plus, don't forget, you will actually use your stash. For example, here in this project, I did use lots of the pattern paper and the cutouts that I had from this collection, and I can justify buying the new collection by Art by Marlene. After all, I did use the previous one. I hope this flip-through video and simple steps was inspiring for you, and you are motivated to create something similar. Down below you will find a list with all the supplies that I use for creating this mini art journal. Don't forget to like the video, it really helps, and also leave me a comment, I read them all. Thank you all so much for joining me today, and I hope you'll all have a lovely day.